Hello, welcome to the Autumn Winter 2021 edition of Copenhagen Fashion Week. I'm Katie Chitrakorn. I'm a journalist and also the retail and marketing editor at Vogue Business, and I am calling in from London. Joining me today is Sophia Wallenstam, who is the co-founder and brand director at the House of Dagmar. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sophia. Hi, great to see you. Great to see you too. Congratulations on your new collection and on also being one of the finalists, I'm told, for Zalando's new sustainability award. How do you feel? Well, thank you so much, first of all. Uh, and yeah, it feels great, of course. It's, uh, it's fantastic to be acknowledged for something that we work so hard with. So we're really, really happy and it means a lot for the whole team who works with this. I'm so glad to hear, you know, for, for those who are not so familiar um, in your work in sustainability, tell us what your key focuses are. So the key focuses is actually to work on the environmental issues that we have not right now in the world from, from our industry. And uh, that is the, the fiber, the way we make the fibers of the clothes. Uh, and what we learned is actually that the fashion industry stands for 10% of the global um, carbon dioxide emissions. And when we learned that, we felt that we as a brand had, uh, we really need to do something. And what could we do from our part? And uh, we learned then that the fiber, uh, well, the way we produce the fibers is the, is the most um, harming uh, on the planet. So uh, we learned then that we wanted to measure our fo footprint. And um, we learned that uh, we can use only uh, ecolog ecological materials or uh, certified materials or recycled materials. Uh, so that is uh, the way we started to work in this process. Of course, the, the goal is to become climate neutral, but we are a small brand. Uh, we can't do everything. So uh, this is a good start. Yes, no, it definitely is. And I really wish I could have been there in person as well to see the collections. And, you know, as you know, there's this unfortunate case of the virus, um, you know, which is why we're connecting digitally right now. And I know you didn't show last season at Copenhagen Fashion Week. Why did you choose to show this season? Well, we really believe that the um, Copenhagen Fashion Week was going to be physical this time and we were so longing to be part of it and do a physical presentation and uh, to meet people. But uh, unfortunately, that was not the situation. So instead, we did this uh, augmented uh, reality um, presentation. It's, a, it's um, a new way for us to do a, a production uh, quite sustainable, I have to say, because no one was really traveling, only our collection. And uh, we tried to do it in, um, in a virtual way, uh, launching and being in, uh, in Copenhagen because that's, we love the city. And uh, so we find some nice uh, locations and we had a photo team there shooting for us. And then we had a photo team in London shooting the collection on a model. So these two productions were actually merged together and uh, it uh, turned out to be this augmented reality uh, presentations. Now that sounds really interesting. Th thank you, Karen. And I guess speaking of, you know, the show, what was the inspiration for today's collection? Like, what are you hoping that the audience will take away? Well, it's, uh, it's quite difficult, of course, to, to create a collection that needs to be sustainable, but also in the same time, um, modern and inspiring to, 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 to the consumer. And so we really went into looking into the Dagmar wardrobe and what does the Dagmar woman really want and what does she really need? And uh, when doing this, we were also really, we wanted to create a collection that had a purpose. Uh, it's super important for us to create a collection that has uh, long lasting design and long lasting materials, but it has to feel modern and interesting enough. And another business that's doing this really great, I think, is the interior world, uh, art and uh, furniture. And so we really were digging into this and looking into, you know, interior design, furniture, like couches, uh, vases, and looking at the colors, the materials and the shapes. And uh, when doing that, we realized that when you buy things for your home, you don't change every season. You buy, it's a mm. long lasting 
design, but the design is still very, feels modern and inspiring for many, many years. So we were looking at the qualities and the colors and the textures for this and try to create a collection that could live in the same way as, a, as an interior design uh, object, you would say. Uh, and that's really interesting. And we looked into actually some of the pieces from my old Dagmar collections. And for instance, I have this um, wool flannel suit on me today that just looks the same, but it's actually 12 years old from our collection. Oh, wow. So, I mean, I feel like modern. I feel, uh, I feel up to date. I also feel um, good because the material is fantastic. So I think that really inspired us to create um, different so similar styles in, in this fall collection that you would feel like that with for the coming 10 years as well. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. It's really great to hear about the longevity about your collection. Thank you so much, Karen and Sophia, for sharing your um, thoughts with us. And thank you to everyone else who tuned in to watch this Q&A. Yeah, thank you so much thank for having you. us. <laughs> thank you for having us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>